Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Lane and welcome back to Madden 19. Today I'm doing a realistic rebuild of the Dallas Cowboys. I do new rebuilds every Sunday at 3 p.m. Eastern. So if that interests you at all, hit that subscribe button down below. But let's go check out the team. It says our offense is an 89 overall. I don't exactly agree with that. I know our offensive line is good, but our starting quarterback is Dak Prescott. 82 overall, quick development, 25 years old. I'm not sold on Dak Prescott in my opinion. I feel like he benefits huge from having Ezekiel Elliott as his quarterback. 91 throw power, 78 deep accuracy, 83 medium, and 87 short. Our starting running back, like I said, Ezekiel Elliott, 92 overall, super star development, 23 years old. He's going to be here the rest of the way. 94 break tackle, 92 speed, 91 acceleration, 95 agility. Our receivers, though, they need a ton of work. Our number one receiver is Alan Hearns. He did all right in Jacksonville, but that was with Alan Robinson, the opposite side of the field from him. He's an 81 overall, quick development, 26 years old. 88 speed, 91 acceleration, 89 catching, 86 catching traffic. Our number two, I believe that's Tyrell Williams or Terrence Williams. 79 overall, normal development, 28 years old. He's up there in age. We're going to probably have to get a lot younger at this position. Alan Hearns, I don't think he's really a number one. Terrence Williams, definitely not a number two. 89 speed, 91 acceleration, 83 catching, 83 catching traffic. Uh, we have Our number three is Cole Beasley. I believe he's 29, right? Yep. 81 overall, normal development, 29 years old. Like I said, we just need a complete overhaul at our receiver position. Our starting left tackle is Tyron Smith. 97 overall, superstar development, 27 years old. An absolute beast. He's going to be here the rest of the way, obviously. 96 strength, 91 run block, 95 pass block. Our starting left guard is the rookie, Connor Williams. 76 overall, quick development, 21 years old. If he can progress again to the low 80s, that'll be great. But I'm not really convinced that he's going to do that. 86 strength, 81 run block, 80 pass block. Our starting center is Frederick. 96 overall, superstar development, 27 years old. He's going to be here the rest of the way as well. 93 strength, 95 pass block, or run block rather, 92 pass block. Our starting right guard is Zach Martin. 97 overall, superstar development, another 27 years old. He's going to be here the rest of the way as well. Our offensive line is going to be basically set this whole rebuild. Uh, 93 strength, 95 run block, 95 pass block. And then our starting right tackle is Collins. 76 overall, quick development, 25 years old. Not that great. The same as Williams, but he's not a rookie. We'll see how it goes. 89 strength, 77 run block, and 77 pass block. And then our starting uh, starting tight end, rather, Jeff Swaim. Swaim? I don't know how to say that name. 73 overall, normal development, 24 years old. Let's go check out the defense. Our whole defense needs a ton of work. Our starting free safety is Xavier Woods, the wrestler. 23 years old, normal development, 77 overall. Not that bad, but I would like to get a little bit better than that. Hopefully, you can get into the 80, 81 overall. 89 speed, 77 zone, 72 tackle, 80 pursuit. Our starting right outside linebacker, Sean Lee, but he's up there in age, 32 years old, 95 overall. Star development. I don't know if we should trade him, put him on the trade block quite yet, but we'll, we'll see what his contract looks like in one second. 93 tackle, 83 hit power, 83 speed, 88 acceleration. Uh, let's see. What does this contract situation look like? Two years left. So we'll keep him for now, trade him next season. Our starting middle linebacker is... Smith is that I forgot his first name yeah Jalen Smith I thought it was I was gonna say Jaron Smith but Jalen Smith 76 overall quick development 23 years old not that bad but it's the same as Collins and uh, Williams is my offensive line we need to hope they progress like steadily so we can get into the 80 81 overall 85 speed 83 tackle 6 7 block shed 86 hit power our starting left outside linebacker don't know this guy Damian Wilson 73 overall normal development 25 years old he has 81 tackle, 83 hit power, 81 speed, 87 acceleration. Our starting strong safety, Jeff Heath. Don't know who this is either. 75 overall, normal development, 27 years old. Our starting cornerback one. Definitely going to mess up this name, so just let me know down in the comments below how I can't say it right. Uh, Chidobi Awuzi. That, that sounds right. Uh, 82 overall, quick development, 23 years old. A pretty good young cornerback. 91 speed, 84 man, 78 zone, 78 play rec. Not that bad. Our starting second cornerback, Byron Jones, 25 years old, 80 overall, quick development. Also another good young player. 92 speed, 78 man, 79 zone, 73 play rec. Uh, what do we got for a right end? Randy, or Randy Gregory, 76 overall, normal development, 25 years old. He's 70 power move, 81 finesse, 84 speed, 88 acceleration. We're going to have to get better at that position. He's, he's pretty young, but with normal development, he's not really going to upgrade whatsoever this season. Our starting defensive tackle is Crawford. 81 overall, quick development, 28 years old. He's up there in age. Wow. Uh, 84 strength, 81 block shed, 82 power move. What does he have for a contract situation? I just want to make sure he doesn't have like one year left. He has three years left. All right. So we'll keep him for now. Our starting defensive tackle two is Collins. 
76 overall, normal development, 23 years old. That's not really going to cut it either. 84 strength, 67 block shed, 64 power move, 81 finesse. Ugh, man, I do not like that whatsoever. And then our starting left end, Demarcus Lawrence, easily the second best player on our team. 91 overall, star development, 26 years old. What do we got? 87 power moves, 93 finesse move, 80 speed, 88 acceleration. All right, let's go to the midseason mark. At the midseason mark, we are 5-2. and two. Where does that put us in our division? We are tied for first place with the Redskins, and the Eagles are 5-3. and three. Wow. And the Giants are 2-6. and six. Not too concerned about that. XP, nothing really on defense. What about an offense? Two for offensive linemen, one for Dak Prescott. That's good. And one for Alan Hearns. Not bad. Who is going to be a free agent? I don't know who picked. Oh, Demarcus Lawrence. Definitely want to bring you back. 26 years old, a star development guy. We have 90 million in cap space. Okay, uh, let's give him 10 a year. Let's put this up to 3.2. See if that'll do the trick. It should. That's perfect. I can't wait until next year. Me either, buddy. David Irving. I did not talk about him when I was talking about the team. Quick to... Oh, okay. Definitely want to bring him back. Five a year. Let's put him up to 2 million signing bonus. I don't know how I missed him. Other than I don't know a bunch of players, obviously. Cole Beasley, no. Swam, no. Thompson, a lot of these guys. Yeah, they could all just go on their way. Rod Smith, no. Absolutely not. Okay, let's go to the playoffs. I imagine we'll make it, but with my luck, we won't. Did we make the playoffs? Oh, we did. That is good. What is our record? We went 11-5. The Eagles, 10-6. The Redskins, 7-9. They won two games the rest of the way. Wow. What do we have for XP? Nothing too crazy on offense. Just a few ones. What about on defense? What do we got here? Just a few ones. Real. Oh, two for Byron Jones. Okay. Uh, what do we have for stats? Dak Prescott. Yo, man. 3,600 yards, 30 touchdowns and 10 interceptions. That's not bad, but 3,600 yards? Wow. Elliott almost had 1,600 yards, 11 touchdowns. Rod Smith had seven. That's not bad whatsoever. Maybe we do bring him back as a backup. Alan Hurd's 900 yards, seven touchdowns. Terrence Williams, 600 yards, almost 700 yards, six touchdowns. Cole Beasley, 700 yards, six touchdowns. Swain with five touchdowns, Elliott with three, Austin with two, and Jarwin with two. What about our defense? Our defense didn't uh, didn't look like they got a ton of XP. Sack totals, 14 and a half for Demarcus Lawrence, eight and a half for Crawford, seven for Gregory, six for Smith, two for Armstrong, one and a half for Collins, one and a half for Irving, and one and a half for Carlton. What about our interceptions? We have four for a woozy. That's what I'm going to call him. That might be wrong. I'm sorry. Byron Jones has three. Brown had two. Smith, Wilson, Lee, and Woods have one. What do we have for fumble recoveries? One for Byron Jones. Okay. Any safeties or defensive touchdowns? Doesn't look like it. No, there is not. So what do we have for awards? Let's see if Elliott gets up there. I feel like he has to. Tom Brady, of course, the MVP. Bell, Freeman, Rogers, Watson. Josh McCown. Really? Elliott's number seven. Wentz, Goff, Trubisky. Josh McCown? Like what? There we are. Zeke or Bust, number three. NFC player of the year. Devontae Freeman, Rogers. We're number three with Elliott. Uh, no other Cowboys. What about defensive player of the year? Do we have, oh, we have Smith. Jalen Smith's number five. Sean Lee, number eight. Byron Jones, number nine. No Demarcus Lawrence. Okay. Offensive rookie of the year. Saquon Barkley, of course. Ridley Moore, Jones. Do we have any Cowboys up here? We do not. Defensive rookie of the year. Fred Warner. Never heard of him. All right. There's a few Redskins up here. Look at this. They have Payne. They have Opke. I don't know if that's how you say his name, but I'm just going to call him that anyways. No Cowboys, though. All right, let's it's sim the week. Actually, should we upgrade now? Maybe we'll upgrade. Yeah, I'm going to upgrade real quick. So I upgraded all the players. Prescott got up to an 83. Elliott's a 95. Smith, 98. Frederick, 98. On defense, though, that's where we got our most upgrades. Byron Jones is an 82. A Woozy's an 83. Gregory, 76. Crawford, 81. Jalen Smith got up to a 77. Xavier Woods, 78. Heath, a 75. But let's advance the week. Find out who we're playing in the divisional round. I'm hoping it's someone we can beat, the Chicago Bears. All right, let's advance the week, see if we can get to the conference championship. We did, and we're playing against the Carolina Panthers. Let's advance the week again, see if we can make it to the Super Bowl. Not sure who we'd be playing. We beat them 27-24, to and we're going to be playing against the Jaguars. Let's see what happens. They're 15-minute quarter, so let's just skip through this real quick. Still a nothing-nothing ball game. The Cowboys have scored 7-0. 10-nothing, the Cowboys. 10-7, Cowboys. All right. What else we got going here? Ooh, nothing out of that drive right there. We are in the third quarter. It is 10-7. Somebody's going to have to score again. You'd have to imagine. 13-7. Oh, 14-13, Jacksonville. 21-14, Dallas Cowboys. 
Can they win the game? 24-14, and we are Super Bowl champions. This is the first time in Madden 19 I have won the Super Bowl with any of my teams. Obviously, I didn't do anything to this team so far, so it's not really that impressive, but the Dallas Cowboys are Super Bowl champions. Let's look at the stats real quick. Blake Bortles, 26 for 42 for 305 with a touchdown. Prescott, 23 for 31, 259 with two touchdowns. Elliott, 24 rushes for 101. Leonard Fournette, 17 for 67. TJ Yeldon got a touchdown receiving. Terrence Williams, 7 for 58 with a touchdown. Marquise Lee, 7 for 82. D.D. Westbrook, 6 for 78 with a touchdown. Safarian Jenkins, 6 for 46. Swain, 5 for 55. Beasley, 4 for 47. Allen Hearns, 4 for 56. Elliott got a touchdown right here, 2 for 29. T.J. Yeldon, 2 for 51. Nothing really else down here. We got a few upgrade points for Demarcus Lawrence, Awuzie, and Thomas. Let's just do auto upgrades, see what happens. What did they get up to? It was Awuzie, Demarcus Lawrence, and then Thomas. So Lawrence is a 94, Awuzie's an 84. Why didn't it upgrade Gregory? Okay, that's strange. But let's go to the offseason. Was there anybody I wanted to re-sign? We wanted to bring back Rod Smith, actually. Cole Beasley, no. Swaim, no. Eh, Swaim. Yeah, no, 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 no. Where is Rod Smith? He's 27 years old. Meh. We can get a little bit younger at that position. We'll just we'll let that slide. So we should have a ton of money for free agents. And we already won the Super Bowl. We're not really losing any of our key pieces. That's generally what happens after the Super Bowl. So what do we have? 73 million in cap space. Landon Collins. Oh, man. We are bringing in Landon Collins. What do we have to beat out? 126 points. He's, he's going to be on our team. You got to believe that. A 92 overall star development. We're going to have to give him a ton of money, but that's, that's all right. Uh, let's go. I think 13 should do the trick. And then we'll put this up to 3.5 to give him a good signing bonus. That's 65 million. That's not even enough. 140, 114 points? What did I give him? I gave him 13 million, so we have to get this up here real quick. Let's make sure we can get this going quicker. There we go. 9, 10, 11. I guess we're going to have to go up to maybe... Should I just do over the top? Like 16 million? I mean, we are the Cowboys. They like bringing in big players. Make it a splash. And then we'll go up to 4 million signing bonus. So what's that? 70? It might as well be 80 million offer. That's got to be at 124. It's tying it? Really? So do I extend him maybe? Give him like five years, six years? I want him for the rest of this rebuild, which is at least three. Or at least three more years. I know we just did one year. I do four-year rebuilds. Let's go. I'm going to go back up to the 16. And then we'll put this back up to the four. That's, I mean, unless he doesn't want all these kinds of years, you have to imagine he would though. Let's go. Let's look at this contract offer. $120 million. That's still not enough. Does he just not want to come here? So I'm going to have to put it up to like 17. Let's go quick. I, I don't know if I want to be doing 17 million. Or do I do like 18 million? Five years? Increase the bonus maybe? Let's go. I want him on my team. It just, it makes sense. 112 million. That's not even as much as last time. 134 points. So he just wanted more money per year. Not... Mm. That's, I don't know how realistic that really is. Cornerbacks, I think we're fine. We have a 24 and a 26 years old. Mark Ingram, I mean, no, he's 29 years old. That doesn't make sense. We do need a kicker. Let's go with Jake Elliott, 79 points. Eh, we just start development, though. Yeah, let's give him $3 million a year. I feel like that's a little bit too much for a kicker. Oh, that's way too much for a kicker. Let's back out of that real quick. Let's give him one five. Okay, that puts us in the lead. That's good. Dante Fowler. Nah, man. Should we? I don't know. That's a tough pick right there. We could use a new... Ooh, 94 points from the Chiefs, though. I don't know about that. Corey Coleman's there. 121 points from the Bills. Get out of here. Albert Wilson. He's working out in my, uh, my Dolphins franchise, but I'm not going to do that. Jaron Brown, John Brown, no. I mean, we could just get some guys in the draft. 94 points from the Chiefs just doesn't make sense. Tight end, who's here? Tyler Croft, 93 points, no. Mercedes Lewis, no. Zach Miller, no. Jesse James? Yeah, I think we'll, I think we'll bring in Jesse James if we can. Let's give him 2-5 and then 1.5, three years. That's not bad. He's a good young player. Uh, what else do we really need? Maybe a backup running back, but we could probably get one in the draft. 
Unless we get like Ty Montgomery just to have a backup. Uh, a passing back too? Huh. I, I, nah, I think we'll just be better off getting one in the draft. We don't really need a quarterback, obviously. Now, I'm just stuck on like Hankins wouldn't be a bad idea, but 126 points. I don't want to do that. And then Dante Fowler. I feel like I get him in every one of my rebuilds at 124 points. I'm not going to do that either. Arakpo, no. Yeah, there's nobody else I really want to get. So let's advance the week, see if we get those three guys. If we don't get Collins, I'm going to be very upset. Moment of truth. We got Jesse James. We got Collins. We didn't get the kicker yet. Let's advance the week one more time. See if we can get Jake Elliott. I imagine we will. Oh, rejected. Really? You're going to turn me down like that. Do we go? Uh, he's kind of up there in age. I don't want to do that. Yeah, nobody else is really grabbing my attention. So let's go to the draft. We have the 32nd pick in the first round, obviously. And with this pick, we are taking receiver Will Gordon. Let's see what he's all about. A 76 overall. Yikes. Normal development, a possession receiver. 86 speed, 85 acceleration, 79 catching, 81 catch in traffic. Not very good. And we're in the second round, the end of the second round. I feel like I have to take him, even though we have Dak Prescott and he won us the Super Bowl. A minus throw power, B medium accuracy, and B short. We got it. 77 overall, quick development, 21 years old. He has 90 throw power, 80 deep accuracy, 85 medium, and 85 short. With our third round pick, we had taken tight end DeAndre Fitzgerald. He has good combine grades. 73 overall, no development. It says a good pick, but it's the 73 overall. I don't know. 75 speed, 80 catching, 66 run block, 62 awareness. I don't know. I mean, he's 81 catching traffic, I suppose. With our fourth round pick, we had taken cornerback Francis Campbell. Let's see what he's all about. A 69 overall. Yikes. Normal development, 22 years old. 85 speed, 74 man, 69 zone, 67 play rec. Yeah. Yikes. With our sixth round pick, we took a kicker, Spencer McKell. 80 overall, normal development, 22 years old, 97 kick power, 86 kick accuracy. That's a good pick. So I upgraded all our players, and our team is looking great right now, other than the receivers. But our offensive line's looking great. Our defense is not looking half bad, especially with Collins at strong safety. Look at that. We basically have Beezer above other than our middle linebacker and our right outside linebacker. So let's check it out. Prescott's an 85 overall. Elliott's a 95 overall. Hearns is an 83. Will Gordon, our rookie, 76. Williams is an 80. Gallup, 73. Jesse James, 77. Collins, 78. Zach Martin, 99. Frederick, 99. Williams, uh, 78. Tyron Smith's a 99. Our team is looking so good. Uh, Xavier Woods is a 79. Thomas, 75. Smith, 79. Sean Lee, 91. We are going to add him to the trade block, though, this season. Collins, 92. Byron Jones, 85. Demarcus Lawrence, 94. Irving, 82. Crawford, 82. Carlton, 78. Awuzie, 84. And then Brown is a 78. We got some trade offers for Sean Lee, the 33-year-old. Four and a six, three and a seven, third, third, third and a seventh. What did I see? A fourth and a six, a third and a seventh. We're going to have to go third and seventh. Let's go any of these 2020? Not really. So let's go to the Bills. At the midseason mark, we are 3-4. and four. Really? The Eagles are 7-0. and oh. The Redskins and the Giants are 4-3. and three. Sure. Nobody has XP on offense. What about on defense? Uh, Smith has one. Collins has one. Carlton has one. Yikes. Elliott is a free agent, so definitely bringing him back. And I imagine Prescott as well. Yes. Prescott is where we're going to have to think for a second. We have $87 million in cap space. I don't know if Prescott's going to let us down. That's the only problem. Let's give Elliott $8 million a year and then 3.5. That should do it. Okay, I can't wait until next year. That's good. Prescott, man, I don't know. Going to have to think about that. Byron Jones, I'll definitely bring you back. $4 million a year. Let's give you 2.3 for a signing bonus. Okay, he's back. That's good. Alan Hearn, same thing. Jalen Smith, definitely want to bring you back. St oh, a star development too. Yeah, okay. You can definitely come back. Let's give him $4 million a year. 1.1 as a signing bonus. We're probably going to spend most of our money right here. Anthony Brown, not concerned about it. Collins, not worried about it. Gregory, no. Collins, hmm. I mean, I feel like we can get a little bit better at that position just by drafting or signing somebody. So I might just let him slide for now. We have $73 million in cap space. We'll think about that. We also have to think about Dak Prescott, like I said. Do we bring him back? Do we bring back Alan Hearns? I don't know. Prescott has normal development. 83 overall. I mean, that's... For that much money? I don't know. Maybe. I'm going to sit on him for now. And I'll also wait on Alan Hearns. See how they do this season.
So let's go to the playoffs, see if we make it. The Eagles are 7-0, so I can't imagine we will. Did we make it? No, we did not. What was our record? We went 9-7, which really isn't that bad. What does the wild card look like in the NFC? Oh, wow. We just missed it. Look at the Packers are 9-6-1. The Falcons are 9-7. Man, we are right there. So the Giants and the Eagles made the playoffs. They, we almost had three teams out of the NFC East. That's a shame. Let's check out the stats real quick. See how Prescott did. 3,500 yards, so he's regressing. 33 touchdowns, 17 interceptions. I think I'll let him walk. Elliott, almost 1,800 yards, 11 touchdowns. Scarborough with seven, nice. Uh, Jesse James, 800 yards, eight touchdowns. Hearn, 800 yards, four touchdowns. Will Gordon with 15 touchdowns, 600 yards. Williams had one. Six for Fitzgerald, another rookie. Our tight end, actually. What about on defense? What, how many you got to Marcus Lawrence? 11. Irving with 10. Gregory with 5. 3 for Carlton. 2 for Armstrong. 1.5 for Van Der Esch. Carford with 1.5. Jones with 1. Thomas with 1. Interception totals. 4 for Iwuzi. 3 for Collins. 2 for Smith. 1 by all these guys. Uh, fumble recoveries. 1 by Jalen Smith. 1 by Demarcus Lawrence. That's good. Safeties? No, but we do have a defensive touchdown by who? Landon Collins, of course. Let's check out the awards. Deshaun Watson, the MVP, Phillip Rivers, Baker Mayfield, Matt Ryan, Bell, Rogers, Nicholson, that rookie quarterback, of course, Harding, rookie quarterback, Wentz and Breeze, Coach of the Year, Bill O'Brien. Are we there at all? No. NFC Player of the Year, Aaron Rodgers, Matt Ryan, Elliott, number three. Anybody else? No. Kamara's up there, Stafford, Gurley, Smith. Defensive Player of the Year, Jordan Hicks, Foster, Buchanan, eh, no Cowboys, of course. Harding got the coach, our Offensive Rookie of the Year, the Coach of the Year. Crosby Beard, oh man. Wills Gordon, number four, not bad. Fitzgerald, number five. Nobody else. Defensive Rookie of the Year, good win. Any Cowboys? No. What do we have XP-wise? Prescott has one. Elliott has one. Hearns has one. Gordon only has one with 15 touchdowns. A little bit of a joke. Oh, we have a bunch on defense. A woozy with two. Look at all these ones across the board. All right. Moment of truth. We're going to find out who won the Super Bowl. And then we're going to find out if we bring back Dak Prescott. Jimmy G and the San Francisco 49ers are Super Bowl champions, 30-24. to 24. Garoppolo, 300 yards, 3 touchdowns. Rivers, 200 yards, or almost 300 yards, 2 touchdowns. Melvin Gordon, 17 rushes, 70 yards with a touchdown. McKinnon, 15 rushes, 48 yards. Eckler, 7 for 27. Receiving, Marquise Goodwin, 11 for 112 with a touchdown. Travis Benjamin, 10 for 124 with a touchdown. Garcon, 7 for 61 with one touchdown. Kittle had a touchdown. Terrell Williams, 5 for 52. Henry, 4 for 58. McKinnon, 3 for 43. Keenan Allen, 2 for 10 with a touchdown. Expect a little bit better from that. Trent Taylor, 2 for 20. And nothing else really there. Now, do we bring back Dak Prescott? I mean, we are going to have a great draft pick. We do have our backup, Trapasso. Trapasso, I don't know how to say his name. Quick development, 77 overall. I think I'm just going to let him go on his way. I really, really do. And I know this is going to be the point where you guys are going to be like, F this guy. I'm clicking off this video. But I'm just not I'm not convinced. I'm really not convinced. I'm not convinced about Alan Hearns, Anthony Brown. I know. Collins, no. Gregory, no. This Collins, I think I will bring back this Collins. Uh, let's give him 3-5, see if that does it. Okay, we got the deal done. That's good. Everybody else can just go on their way. Here we go. Backing out. Advancing the week. Dak Prescott, have fun being a free agent. I just can't do it. I just can't do it. He's really not doing that great. We have 57 million, 58 million in cap space. Deion Jones is there. I don't really want to do that. Ooh, maybe. 96 overall. Phillip Rivers is there. Maybe for a year guy. Uh, that, I guess that doesn't make sense, really. Logan Ryan, no. Kenyon Drake, no. Mills? I mean, we could. Awuzie and Byron Jones aren't doing half bad. Eric Ebron, the dead man. No. Sanders, no. Is there like a good young quarterback? Nick Foles? No, we're going to have to go with our quarterback for now. Receiver, Emmanuel Sanders, Keelan Cole. Now, that wouldn't be a bad idea. We could have Keelan Cole. We could have Will Gordon. I think that's what we'll do. Uh, let's give him $6 million a year. Let's give him 3.1. Make the offer. I imagine that's like 84 points. 98 points. Even better. Uh, what do we have to get better at an offensive line? Our left guard, right? Tooney, though? Nah. No, he's getting a ton of money. I feel like we should get this left end. Okay, maybe it was a right end. Uh, man, 96 points from the Texans. I mean, that's really not that much. 
Let's go. I don't know if 9 million is going to be enough. We have so much money, too. And I think most of our players are locked down for the long haul. 101 points. Okay, that puts us in the lead. Do we get Deion Jones? Do we move Smith over to left outside linebacker, right outside linebacker? Shaq Thompson, no. Jenkins, not so much either. Arakbo, man. Deion Jones, 92 points from the Texans. Do we just take all their players? Jalen Mills. Mm, I don't think I can do that. Free safety. We kind of need a free safety. Ooh, oh, he's 34. Never mind. Deion Jones, 92 overall. I mean, we're going to need a good a good defense. I'm going to see if 7 million will do it. If 7 million does it, and then a 2.6 signing bonus, then we'll do it. If not, that's all right. Okay, that definitely does it. Okay, that works out. Let's advance the week. See if we get any of these guys. I imagine we might get most of them. What do we got? Okay, we got the right end. We got Deion Jones. We got Keelan Cole. That is good to know. Let's go to the draft. So there is nobody that I want to take in this draft right now. None of these quarterbacks are really worth it. So what I'm going to do, I looked at the trades beforehand. We're going to trade our pick away. The Patriots are offering us a number one next year. I forget what their other one was. And then a third uh, next year as well. So let's do that. With our second round pick, we had taken a middle linebacker. I know we just signed Deion Jones. But we'll move this guy over to right outside or left outside linebacker. Let's see how it goes. 73 overall, yikes. Normal development, 23 years old. There's just nothing in this draft I'm dying to get. 77 speed, 80 tackles, 71 block shed, 71 hit power. Really not a good pick. With our third round pick, we're taking a cornerback. Rashard Clinton has good combine stats. 73 overall, normal development. Man, 94 speed, which is pretty good. 78 man, not that bad. 71 zone, not going to cut it. So I upgraded all our players. Trapas was a 77 overall. Elliott, 96. Cole, 82. Will Gordon, 77. Williams, 74. Smith, 96. Williams up here, 77 overall. Not progressing like we wanted him to. Frederick, and 96. Martin, 96. Colin, 76. Jesse James, 78. On defense, Xavier Woods is an 80. McKay, 69. Deion Jones, 94. Smith, 80. Collins, 93. Byron Jones is an 84, which is great. Demarcus Lawrence, 94. Crawford, 78. Irving, 83. An 89 for Nagaki. I don't know how to say his name. I know you guys are going to rip me in the comments down below. And Awuzie is an 86 overall. There's nothing I really want to do to this team. So let's go to the midseason mark. At the midseason mark, we're 4-3. and three. Not bad. What do we have for XP for our quarterback? Only one. I was expecting a little bit better than that. We're four and three. The Eagles are four and three, and the Giants are four and four. Who is going to be a free agent? I don't know. Is that a woozy? It is. Star development, too, and Xavier Woods. I feel like we got to bring both of them back. We have 41 million in cap space. Star development. Wow. Let's give him 6.5 and then 2.8 for a signing bonus. You'd like, you'd like a better bonus? How much better could it get? Man. Wow, okay. Uh, Xavier Woods, I suppose, will bring him back as well if we care or, or try to, I suppose. Uh, let's give you a 1 million signing bonus. Why not? You're worth it. I'm glad we got the deal done. That's good. Carlton, you can go on your way. Eh, quick development, though. Maybe. We'll think about that. Lewis, not really concerned. A bit. Am I concerned about that? That wouldn't be a bad third guy. Let's give him three, and let's get this up to 1.5, see if that does it. It does. That is good. Crawford, you can go on your way. Terrence Williams, go on your way. All these guys can just walk away. I am not too concerned about it. We need to make sure we get a woozy back, though. We made the playoffs. We are 11-5. and five. That is good to know. The Eagles went 10-6. and six. The Giants 8-8. Eight and eight. And the Redskins 6-10. and 10. Actually, what did the Patriots do? We got their first-round draft pick. Let's find out. Patriots. There they are. It's 7-9. and nine. So we might have, like, the 11th pick, 12th pick. Something along those lines. That's good to know. Plus, we're going to have, what, like the 20? Yeah, I guess it depends how we do. Trapasso, 3,500 yards. So exactly what Dak Prescott did. 27 touchdowns, 13 interceptions. Expecting a little bit better than that. Elliott, 1,500 yards, 16 touchdowns. Scarbo with three touchdowns. Receiving Keelan Cole, 1,000 yards, five touchdowns. Will Gordon, 630 yards with 10 touchdowns. Jesse James with two. Williams with seven. Elliott, Fitzgerald, and Scarbo. And Gallup with one. What about on defense? Let's see. 12 and a half sacks for Lawrence, eight and a half, seven and a half, six, six, three, two and a half, two and a half, one, one, a bunch of halves. I see four interceptions by Jordan Lewis. Did we sign him back? I think we did, right? Collins with two, Woods, Clinton, Jones, a woozy, and Jones with one. Fumble recoveries. We have at least one. Who's it by? A woozy, of course. We have to bring him back in Jalen Smith. Any safeties? No. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's, uh, there was. One by Crawford and one by Najoki. Najoke? I, I know how to say his name. I just, 
I'm just bad at it. I'm really, really bad at it. No defensive touchdowns. Let's check out the yearly awards. Phillip Rivers, who I was going to sign, won MVP. Sure. Aaron Rodgers, Watson, Ryan, Bortles, Elliott, number six, Goff, Tyrod Taylor. Get out of here. Coach of the year. We are number eight. Okay. We have not won coach of the year quite yet. Offensive player of the year, Aaron Rodgers, Matt Ryan, Elliott, number three, Harding, Freeman, Taylor, Wentz, Goff, Wilson, Foles. I also thought about getting him for one second. Kowalkowski? Is that how you'd say his name? I don't know. Uh, Jake Ryan. Do we have any? There's Jalen Smith. That's good. Nobody else. Really. Khalil Mack on the Bears. That He actually ended up on the Bears in this? Wow. Uh, offensive Rookie of the Year. Miles Landry. No Cowboys. Defensive Rookie of the Year. Oh, we have two Cowboys. McKay and Clinton. Eh, but I, I'd like to actually you know, win it for once. That'd be nice. What do we have XP-wise for our quarterback? He has two. Elliot has one. Williams has one. What about on defense? Oh, we have a ton on defense. All right, we're going to upgrade our players, and then we're going to play the Eagles. After upgrading all our players, Trapasso's at 79, Elliott's at 97, Williams got up to a 78, Jesse James is a 79, Will Gordon's a 78. Expecting a little bit better from him. On defense, though, Xavier Woods, 81, Deion Jones, 95, Jalen Smith, 82, Collins got up to a 94, Bar uh, Byron Jones, 85, Lawrence, 94, Crawford, 78, Irving, 83, 90, and 87 for a woozy, and Jordan Lewis, an 81. Can we beat the Philadelphia Eagles, get to the divisional round of the playoffs? No, we cannot. Wonderful. We lost 28-27. Let's see what we have for stats for that game. Wentz had four touchdowns, 250 yards. Trapasso, 280 yards, a touchdown and interception. Elliott, 21 rushes, 96 yards with a touchdown. Scarborough had a touchdown. Jay Ajayi, 13 rushes, 55 yards. Receiving, Jesse James, 6 for 53 with a touchdown. Keelan Cole, 6 for 83. Will Gordon, 5 for 46. So we had all the leading receivers. Okay. Aguilar had two touchdowns. Baird had a touchdown. Bridges had a touchdown. Man, I thought this might have been our year, too. I know we already won a Super Bowl, but thought we could have been a little bit better than that. Let's find out who won. The Miami Dolphins beat the Falcons 35-32. Why didn't we sign Phillip Rivers? 400 yards, four touchdowns, no interceptions. 350 yards, three touchdowns with an interception. Devontae Freeman, 14 rushes, 59 yards with a touchdown. Clement had a touchdown. Uh, just like, what's going on? Devontae Parker, 13 catches, 120 with a touchdown. Wish you would do that in my Dolphins franchise. Uh, Sharp had eight catches, 107. Julio Jones, five for 75. Devontae Freeman, five for 68 with a touchdown. Brian, five for 90, no touchdown. Stills, five for 53 with a touchdown. Gesicki, five for 60. Where's Ridley? Four for 47. Hooper, four for 51. Clement, four for 28 with a touchdown. Coleman, two for 10 with two touchdowns. Wow. Now, we need to make sure that we bring back a woozy. 100%. He wanted more of a signing bonus, I believe. We have 25 million in cap space. Ugh. Uh, let's give him 8.5, and we'll put this up to 3 million a year. He had a great season, so we have to bring him back. 87 overall? I mean, we have to. Okay, he's signed. That's good. Carlton, I'm not worried about, even though I probably should be. 80 overall? No. Crawford, no. Everyone else, like I said before, you can just go on your way. Let's go. So we have, what, like 20 million or so in cap space? This will be our final season after this draft. 16 million in cap space. McCaffrey, ugh. Ooh, Cam Newton. I, I, We need a quarterback. We need a quarterback bad. Why would the Dolphins get him? Did Rivers win and then retire? Wow, okay. Uh, don't need any of these guys so far. Trent Williams, no. Mixon, no. King, uh, no, that doesn't make sense. No, Philip Rivers only was a one-year deal and won the Super Bowl. Galladay is great. He really is. But 93 points? I don't know if we could do that. Josh Norman for maybe a year. I, We need a quarterback. We do. Do we get Cam Newton for one year? Do we just load up, just give him as much as we can for one year? I see. We, I don't even think this is going to be enough. Two years, 12 million. Six million signing bonus. That's not even close. Not even close. So we're really going to have to depend on who we draft or Trapasso. And I really don't want to do that right now. That is going to be very, very disappointing. I can already tell. Jimmy Smith, Josh Norman. Jimmy Smith's a, a scheme fit, so we'll bring him in for a year. Let's give him four million. That should do it. I'm just gonna bring in a few guys that can just round out our team and hope this can do it. Everson Griffin, no. Galladay, I do want to bring in. It, it would make sense, but I don't know if we're gonna be able to pay enough for him. Let's give him eight, and then we'll give him two point nine. That actually, that's probably gonna be way over, like 114, 110. That'll do it though. 
Uh, everybody else. Like, we could bring in, like, Eckler for, like, a one-year deal just to have as a backup, I suppose. Or five years. That works, too. Either or. It doesn't matter. This is going to be the final season. 46 points, too. Yikes. I don't even know if he's going to take that. Let's advance the week. See if we can get Smith. See if we can get Eckler. Uh, let's see. We got Galladay. We got Smith. We did not get Eckler yet, though. I might try to trade up in the draft, actually. So we didn't get Eckler. All right. Let's go to the draft. I'm going to see what I can do. Maybe trade up to that first pick with our two first-round picks. So this is what we're looking at. We have the 13th and the 23rd pick in the first round. And the quarterback that I want, they say, is going to go number 13. Allen Bradley, A- minus throw power, A- minus short accuracy, B+, plus medium accuracy. So I, I'm going to skip a few picks. I'm going to bring you guys along for now. I don't know if any of these teams really need a quarterback. So let's skip ahead one pick, see what happens. The Vikings take a receiver. All right. I, I think we can get Allen Bradley maybe like seven or eight. And it probably won't take both of our first round picks potentially. Left outside linebacker. What else we got? Right outside linebacker. The Broncos might need a quarterback. Okay, they don't. We're going to get super, super close here. Rowe is gone. We're almost there. Ekis or Ekis. I don't know how you say that name. Steed. Okay, we're a few picks away. I don't know if we just risk it. Right end is gone to the Ravens. Middle linebacker. Bostic. Okay, this is the final pick before our pick. What's going to happen? Yes, our guy is there. That is what I like to see. We're taking Allen Bradley right now. Where is he here? Oh, nope, nope, nope. Let's not take the wrong Allen. Let's not do that. Allen Bradley. Let's see what he's going to be. A 77 overall, but superstar development. 22 years old. That is what I love to see. 90 throw power, 76 deep, 87 medium, 90 short. Yes. With our other first round pick, we're taking this receiver, Hairston. Let's see what he's all about. 76 overall, normal development, 21 years old, 89 speed, 88 acceleration, 80 catching, 82 catch in traffic. Yikes. Look at this. This other quarterback that we could have potentially picked is still there in the third round. I'm not going to take him. I want to make sure we find out where he went and what his overall is, though. But I am going to take Corey Whitlock. He's 13 in the bench press. Not that great. But 73 overall, normal development, 22 years old, 82 strength, 69 block shed, 72 power move, 81 finesse. With one of our third round picks, we're taking a receiver, Andre McLareth, I guess. 77 overall, quick development, 90 speed, 89 acceleration, 83 catching, 85 catch in traffic. So he was a 76 overall, quick development, 21 years old. So I'm glad we did not take him. So I upgraded all our players. Trapasso is a 79 overall, who I'm either cutting or trading if we can. Elliott's a 97, Cole 82, Galladay 81, Will Gordon only a 78. I was expecting a little bit better than that. Tyron Smith, 96, William, 78, Frederick, 96, Zach Martin, 96, Collins, 76. Our rookie left guard and Collins, they did not progress whatsoever. Jesse James, 79. Both our offense and our defense is a 91 overall, but our overall is an 88. How, how does that work? Uh, Xavier Woods, 81, Mason, 76, Deion Jones, 95, Jalen Smith, 82, Collins, 94, Jones, 85, Lawrence, 94, Whitlock, 73, Irving up to an 85, 91, Awuzie, 87, Jordan Lewis, 81. Let's see what we can do. With our quarterback. We actually got trade offers for him. Wow. Was not expecting that whatsoever. Let's get the player because that's what we're going to need. At the midseason mark, we are 4-3. and three. Brady only has one XP point. What about on defense? Nothing. Wow. What does that put us in our division? The Cowboys are 4-3. and three, The Giants 4-3-1. and one, The Eagles are 3-3-1. Three, three and one, The Redskins are 3-4. and four. Man, oh man. Let's upgrade our players. Brady got up to a 78 and Elliott got up to a 96. So let's just go to the playoffs. Moment of truth. Are we going to make the playoffs? We are. And we got a first round bye. Really? We went 12 and 4. Wow. Redskins 9 and 7. The Eagles 6, 9 and 1. And the Giants 4 and 11. Let's check out the stats real quick. The awards, the XP. Allen Bradley, 37 yards, 39 touchdowns to 14 interceptions. A great rookie season. Elliott, 1,500 yards, 8 touchdowns. Weathersby with a touchdown. A lot of just random guys getting rushing touchdowns. Uh, Jesse James, 800 yards, 8 touchdowns. Keelan Cole, 900 yards, 13 touchdowns. Galladay, 700 yards, 6 touchdowns. McLareth, 600 yards, 8 touchdowns. Elliott with 3. Fitzgerald with 2. Will Gordon with 1. Expected a little bit more from Will Gordon. Uh, sack totals, what do we have? Irving with 10. 9. Lawrence with 9. Smith with 4. 2.5 for Jones. 1.5 for Collins. 1 for Lewis, Woods, and Mason. Interception totals. Three for Collins, three for Awuzie, two for Lewis, two for Jones, Smith, Vanderesk, one for Jones, one for Woods. Fumble recoveries, what do we got? 
One for Landon Collins, one by Lewis, and one by Jones. Any safeties? Any defensive touchdowns? I see a defensive touchdown. One by Jimmy Smith, the one-year man. Awards, what do we got? Le'Veon Bell with the MVP. Baker Mayfield, Fournette, Watson. Rivers to the Jets. He just, wherever he goes, he leads a team. Allen Bradley, number six. That is what I like to see. Gurley, Ryan, Johnson, Goff. Coach of the year. We are number four, man. Offensive player there. David Johnson beat us out. Really? Where did we go? We, well, huh? How do you go? What were we MVP? I'm, uh, I'm just lost. What were we for MVP? We were number six. So MVP, and then we go to NFC player of the year. We go down to number 10. Was that right? Number 10? How does that, how does that work? Elliot, number six. Okay. Defensive player of the year. Roquan Smith. What do we have for Cowboys? Jalen Smith, Deion Jones. That's nice. Offensive rookie of the year. Allen Bradley, of course. We have McLaren there, number four. We have Weathersby, number nine, or number eight, rather. Defensive Rookie of the Year, nothing. Oh, Whitlock, number 10. Not bad. So what do we have for XP? We're going to use all our XP, then we're going to start simming. Oh, Brady has six. That's good. Cole with one. Will Gordon with one. Nobody else on offensive line. Defense, Woods has one. Smith has one. Where are all these? Why don't we have a ton of XP? What is going on? The only one you're really going to care about is we got Allen Bradley up to an 86 overall. And can he lead us to the promised land? Let's go find out. We are playing against the 8-8 eight eight Chicago Bears. And this is how this video is going to end, right? We're going to lose the 8-8 eight eight Bears. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. We lost 35-21 to the Chicago Bears. The Chicago Bears. Mitchell Trubisky, I'm assuming. No, even better. Tyrod Taylor, 240, two touchdowns and interception, 253 touchdowns and interception. What is going on? Jordan Howard, 11 rushes, 185 with two touchdowns. Elliott, 9 for 56. This is a joke. Galladay, 8 for 57 with a touchdown. Trey Burton, 7 for 78. McLareth, 5 for 60 with a touchdown. Elliott, 4 for 37. Jesse James, 4 for 25. Keelan Cole, 4 for 46 with a touchdown. Anthony Miller, 4 for 27. A rookie, I'm assuming, one-year guy, 4 for 65 with a touchdown. Robert Kelly with a touchdown. This is just so, so, so dumb. Really doesn't make sense whatsoever. Let's find out who won the Super Bowl before we end this video. The Houston Texans beat the Rams 27-21 in the Super Bowl. Let's see what the stats are. Watson, 300 yards, a touchdown with an interception. Jared Goff, 177 with a touchdown and interception. Todd Gurley, 18 rushes for 114 with a touchdown. Tannico, 12 for 26 with a touchdown. Receiving Hopkins, 7 for 107. Higby, 6 for 65. Cooper Cup, 5 for 36. Humphreys, 4 for 48. The dead man, Eric Ebron, 4 for 70 with a touchdown. 3 for 34 for Fuller. 3 for 52 with a touchdown for Cooks. 2 for 24, 1 for 21, 1 for 18. Man, man, man. Can we see where the, 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 the Bears lost? Okay, they beat us in the division around the conference championship. They lost. Man. To the Rams. They got slaughtered. That's such a shame. But that is going to be it for this video. If there's any other teams you want to see me rebuild, let me know down in the comments below. Do you like my realistic rebuilds or do you want to see a fantasy rebuild? Is there another type of rebuild you'd like to see? Let me know down in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe. Hit that bell to be notified when all my videos go live. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.